Okay, what we're going to do here is we are going to uh, create rounded corners on a photograph in Adobe uh, Photoshop CS6. Now, just to let you know, there's a big difference in the way the shape tools are in Photoshop CS6 and Photoshop CS5. I did watch a video at Adobe TV about it. They're significantly different. So this, this is not going to be the way to uh, do it in Adobe CS5. This is for Adobe CS6 only, okay? You can go to adobe.tv and take a look at the differences in a video there. That's, that's, that's where I saw it anyway. Uh, first thing we want to do is we want to open the photograph we want to work on. Okay. So this is a photograph that uh, I want. It's a fireworks uh, display. I've already got a crop to the size that I want it. Now, f first thing we're going to want to do is double click the background, change the background name because you cannot work on the background while it's locked like that. So I'm going to accept the default layer zero here. Second thing you want to do is select your shape tool. You'll find it under your rectangle tool. I'm, I'm using the rounded uh, rectangle tool. You'll look, that's found under the rectangle tool. And uh, once you select that, these two things show up. The selector right here is probably going to be defaulted shape. If, if you just opened up Photoshop, uh, it's probably going to be defaulted in shape. Um, but uh, we're going to change that in just a minute. Now you notice here on my radius, what I want to make with corners, I have my radius set at 35 pixels. So that's just the radius I'm going to have. But here you need to make sure your shape, do you drop down, and uh, you have path selected. And once you have path selected, you want to go to layer, vector mask, reveal all. And notice over here to your right, a new layer mask was created right next to your uh, photo layer. It didn't put it underneath like it normally would do. This is done for you automatically when you select the uh, reveal all. Now you see this little outline around there? Sometimes it may show up like that where it's not selected. Now if it's not selected, it's rounding your, this corner is where I want to show you it's not going to work. So click on it once, make sure it's selected, okay? And then you have your shape tool. And once you have that selected and you've done these other steps, you can go up. I go up to the corner here. Click, drag to the other side, and once you have it right where you want it, go ahead and release. And you'll notice now I have transparency background for my corners. Now I'm going to save this for the web, and make sure that GIFs not selected or any of these others are selected. If you want the rounded corners to work, you need that transparent background that will only work with PNG24. So we're going to save PNG24, save here, and uh, because I've already done this once, I'm just doing this for uh, this video, I'm just going to go ahead and save it as that right there because that's actually what it is, and replace, and then I'm going to close this, close Photoshop out, and Photoshop's going to ask you to uh, save again. You don't need to save again at this point. You've already done it once when you save for web, so I'm going to just say no, okay? And that's all there is to it. I, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed this video. I hope it has helped you. I hope you'll visit my website at www.skeeterz71.com. And uh, if you'll visit and you see any postage like, I hope you'll leave us a comment. Well, you can have a good day.